Uh, next unpopular take. Actually, from the good folks at WeRSC, USC's on uh, the On3 USC site that we have. If you haven't got a membership over there, would encourage you to do so. Scott Schrader and company crushing the USC coverage. We are SC. I don't know who tweeted this out, but the uh, whoever runs the account over there, their unpopular take is that Lincoln Riley will win a national championship at USC by age 45. For context, Lincoln Riley is currently 40 years old. Now, there's going to be a lot of vicious reaction to this because Lincoln Riley's a polarizing figure. USC was in the headlines a lot this year for underachieving. I understand that. The reactionary take will be, you haven't won a playoff game. You're telling me he's going to win a national championship and we add more playoff games to the college football playoff format? Doesn't even play defense. Doesn't, doesn't even play. De- you're telling me that he doesn't even have a defense year in and year out. And you're expecting him to win a national championship in five years? Other people are saying, well, he's going to take an NFL job. He's not sticking around for this. There's no way he wants to be at USC long term. You can go to the NFL, be a coordinator, be a head coach, not have to worry about recruiting and this vicious calendar. Like, I understand all those thoughts. I won't even say those takes are unfair, but I do think those takes are incomplete because when you take a step back at this, historically talking about Lincoln Riley not having a defense, he sure as heck has had an offense. <laughs> USC has definitely had an offense consistently with Lincoln Riley being your head coach. Now you lose Caleb Williams, so I'm not pretending that won't be, you know, a question mark of sorts of what Willer, what, what Miller Moss brings to the table. But the way that I look at this, you can look at it glass half full or glass half empty. Glass half full says they have no defense. Or, excuse me, glass half empty says they have no defense. Glass half full says they're halfway there. They've had a championship offense multiple years at USC. And with how they're restructuring that defensive staff, I've said it before on here, I'm still in wait and see mode on USC and what they are defensively. They made some big hires. Danton Lynn from UCLA going to be the DC. Eric Henderson from the NFL ranks going to help be the co-DC there. Like They've made some good philosophical hires. I think the the philosophy at USC still has to be solidified, if that makes sense. Like They still have to prove that they're a defensive team in some respects or have something to show on the defensive side of the football. But like, if all it takes is a defense and you're giving me a five-year runway, why not? Why not USC? Why not Lincoln Riley? Because as much as, and we said this earlier in the show, as much as the path to a national championship is becoming more steep because the conference realignment game is changing how you know your regular season schedule is, you probably have to win more games. Not probably. You do have to win more games to win a national championship now. The path is also becoming wider. Like long gone are the days where you have to win your conference and be undefeated or have one loss to make the college football playoff to be in the dance. USC, if they win 10 games in the Big Ten, they go 10-2, and two, they're in the dance. Probably not an auto bid, but they're in the dance. They have a shot at the whole thing. So if they were to evolve in the correct way that Ryan Day has evolved Ohio State up in his defensive ante a little bit, Lincoln Riley is always going to attract top quarterbacks. Lincoln Riley, you feel pretty confident trusting the history of of what he's done there. They're always going to have a pretty solid offense. It sounds crazy when you say it out loud at first, but then you walk it out a little bit more. If you're halfway there and you give them five years, if they adapt the right way, it's not that wild to assume that if Lincoln Riley stays at USC, they could win a national championship. I'm not predicting it right now, but you talk about an unpopular take. I see why it's unpopular. But I don't think it's that far off the map to think that it's possible if they are going to adjust the right way defensively. This year will be really, really telling, I think, with this new staff. Made some great hires. Big fans of the hires they've made on the defensive side of the football. But I'm waiting for a little bit more to get excited about it from USC on that side of the football. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.